Japanese artist Michiru designs tissue boxes that's made to look like a floating iceberg. That is honestly super cool. I can't imagine it's easy to replace those, and I feel like the effect kind of loses its tension as you get lower and lower to the bottom. But hey, you know what? That's cool. That's good design. Hello everybody and welcome to Calibus. My name is Lumo and today we are looking at r slash design porn, a subreddit dedicated to just wonderful design. The things that make you go, ooh, that's nice. I love this kind of thing, so let's just get right into it. This record player by Sony. That's super sick. That's like a retro futuristic design, and I mean that with all of the love in the world. This looks like something that you would see in like a Fallout game or like in a Star Trek episode. This is super cool. Yeah, the top comment's right. This is how 1943 people thought music would work. Hell yeah. This house I drove past the other day. The longer you look at it, the cooler it gets. That's some interesting siding, and that's really, really cool. It's kind of like one of those unpainted paint by the numbers kind of deal, which is awesome. God, how long do you think it took them to do that? Oh, because I kind of want to do it. This help desk at the Trans World Airlines in Idlewild Airport, 1958. Now that's cool and a very retro futuristic design, which makes sense because it's 1958. But that, have you seen that parallel reality board that only shows you your information when you walk through it? Like, it's so cool. The future was so cool. Now is so cool. Things are cool. You know what else is cool? Subscribing to the channel, leaving a like, sharing the video with a friend, and leaving us a comment. Because all of these things will help us make more videos for you, which is phenomenal because you like them, we like them, and we all get something that we enjoy. Let's keep going. This hourglass with the traffic lights based. That's powerful. Every city needs that. Every stoplight needs that. The amount of time I've had to just sit at a light and question if I'm actually activating it is too high. We need something like this, or better yet, public transit. We need public transit. Inherited this lamp from my sister. The toucan lamp from Enra Ferrari. The first children's lamp made of plastic. That is amazing. That is such a piece of history before plastics were everywhere and even microtized. Also, I would be remiss to not point out that th <laughs> this is <laughs> J.R.R. Tolkien. De her de ring. <laughs> I don't believe. I don't believe that that is a real language. This McDonald billboard that tells the time. That's a really fun use of a, what's it called, sundial. I really like that. Everything about this is super cool, except for the fact that it's on a billboard in a residential district. But at the same time, that's, I don't know, it's just cool. That's just good marketing. IKEA ads in 2020. Sleep, the most natural anti-aging remedy. What? Oh, my three brain cells thought that was an actual lotion. No. That's a good blanket. That's a good marketing. That is how you do a good marketing. Apparently, this is a uh, three ad campaign. So there's three posters like this, but there's no photo manipulation. This is a giant plastic can for the shoot. That's amazing. Eye disease awareness. Eye disease. There's a lot you don't see. That's really well done. That's so evocative. Oh my God. And the fact that you know, white irises are associated with blindness and cataracts. It adds that extra layer of oomph to it. That is just well done. That is a good Photoshop. I'm here for that. Unless that's also a practical f at the airport. First class espresso. Oh my God. That's a plate and a cup, but it looks like a wing and that's definitely a thing. Thank you, Tortino Italia. Very cool. Oh, I'm going to butcher this. Black punked. Pop 70 sound system, 1969. I love the retro futuristic aesthetic where everything is just inexplicably like cylindrical or spherical. It's not too far off from the world that we live in. Let's be real. We have seen all of the home assistants and they are just orb, but just, ah, oh, it's so cool. I miss when the world looked like it was, you know, wide cylinders and egg speakers. Safe driving awareness ad. Ooh, that's a, that's good. It took me a second to remember that we do not have uh, seat buckles for spinal ligaments. Uh, I, in all three of my brain cells, thought that was just a broken spine. So maybe that's the intent. 
Maybe I'm just not very observant. Jorge, no low stokes. 1950s German slide projector. That's cool. I'm sure it's shaped like that to focus the light. It looks like a small little anti-air cannon and I love it. Yeah, the top comment reminds me of the artillery train. The factory must grow. Factorio moments. Jazz at KFC in the shape of the colonel's tie. That's really, that's good. I'm not, I doubt that was intentional though. Honestly? Yeah, yeah, top comment. Are they though? They got annoyed that no one noticed, so the corporate made a fake Reddit account for it. The picture doesn't feel like a live restaurant. Yeah, I think these are just chairs. I think, I think these are just chairs. Finally, a way company that gets it. No more scoop digging. This is like the worst part whenever I get like G Fuel or G Sups is having to like get my hands covered in dyed powder. I hate it. This is a massive win. And I think all powder companies should do this. Powder digging should be a thing of the past. This store sign. Oh my God, there is no he, there's no he lied spiev. No matter how you read it, it just works. Todd Howard wishes he had design that just worked like this. This is, it's the best style. Architecture for people with reduced mobility from the last century. I, <laughs> I imagine that this is for people who can't go up steep stairs, but can in fact go up ramps. So they would do this so they wouldn't have to go up massive steep stairs in a thin area. At the same time, I thought this was just a very funny, like, <laughs> wheelchair accessibility option, but, like, that would be awful. <laughs> Atkinson's Hyperlegible, a new typeface, greater legibility and readability for low vision readers. Oh my god, and it's free! Oh, I love that. I love everything about that so good. Apparently, uh, the font is named after the Braille Institute founder, Robert Atkinson. That is phenomenal. That is so good. I wonder if it would help people with dyslexia. Bike rack outside of an eye doctor can only fit two bikes. I would not know that that's a bike rack, but then again, I'm not a bike. Galileo Umberto <laughs> in Naples. You can probably assume what I almost just called Naples. That is beautiful. I, God, I love that. I love the commercial panopticon. A detail of extruding window from r slash brick expressionism. Oh my god, the bricks are- this- this just looks like a diagonal Minecraft build. I will not be elaborating. Eggshell embedded into graph. Oh wow, that's really good. That's a really good and evocative image that makes me sad about how many eggs I eat. I need my gains. Please lay more eggs. Simmons Signo Telephone, winner of the 1991 <laughs> Product Design Award. That is a classic. Honestly, can you imagine a time before we had buttons like this and you had to use a rotary phone? I know some people are nostalgic for it, but those are the same people who own $500 typewriter keyboards and work exclusively out of a coffee shop that no one's ever heard of that they are the sole patron of. Genuinely, this is cool. This Bic billboard for raises. 10 out of 10. That is amazing. At the same time, who is responsible for mowing that? That's a genuine question. And that's all the time we have here today on Calvis. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, maybe share this with a friend who could use a reminder that, hey, shave or don't, your prerogative. If you do want more r slash design porn, there'll be another popping up on your screen in just a couple of seconds. But until then, my name has been Lumo, and I hope to see you in the very next Calvis video. Have a great rest of your day.